I started pastoring in 2003. Uh, started a church with three people out of my home. It had grew to over 150 some people within about six months. And then God transitioned me from Austin to Elgin. And uh, that's currently where we had, and we own the land here now. And we're about to get ready to build, by the end of October, another 2,000 square foot facility that would house about 150 to 200 people. And so, uh, but as far as the call, God called me uh, uh, in 2003 to pass, but he, I, got, I gave my life to the Lord and when I was 15. And uh, most churches today, 98% of the churches today are predictable. You can predict exactly what they're gonna do. Well, I told them here, every Sunday, you're not gonna be able to know exactly what we're doing. It has to be different. And so, so we came up with an idea of, of bringing that experience that they get at the club into here at the church. You know, uh, the enemy would love for them to have experience and line up and pay $45 to get in. But why are they not lining up getting into the church and into the kingdom? So I'm a kingdom-driven preacher, a kingdom-driven ministry that has uh, came out with something that's innovative that reaches all, all three generations, the old, the mid, and the new. I had met DJ Patton, and it was a great connection, and God put him in my life, and he came in, and we launched it, and, and it's been a success ever, ever since. What we did was we integrated old school songs with, with, with our age group and also with the next generation. And so and we still got other things that we're gonna, we're gonna integrate to make it even more uh, interchangeable with all generations. And I've been DJing about 28, 29 years and I had a real successful career. Uh, I did a lot in Austin. I was the top DJ in Austin for, for a long time. Um, still am, if you want to say that. But uh, I felt like God had blessed me for that period of time to where I didn't have a lot of trouble. Um, I was very successful, made a lot of money. And I feel like it was a time in my life where I need to uh, go ahead and do it for him now. He had blessed me for so long, I wanted to do something different and DJ for him. Uh, and so that's why I came with the whole idea, let me take the talent I've got and, and use it in the church, you know, versus the club. With, with DJing for the secular versus DJing for the club, um, what it gives you is a personal satisfaction. You know when you're DJing for, let's say, the secular crowd, you're putting out a lot of negativity. A lot of the songs are talking about women degrading women, um, 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 highlighting drug dealers and things of this nature. But when you're DJing for the church, um, you know that you're doing something positive. When you can do something and bring other people in and you know you're spending the music for God and doing what God has intended you to do, it's a different feeling. You have a, a joy that I can't explain. And so that's what we do here at World Life Ministry.